If one would take a careful and comprehensive look into the Qur'an Arabic usage of the words night and day, they will notice it is used as a metaphor to represent the rotation of earth on its axis, as we will be demonstrating in the rest of this video. But first, it must be understood that the word each in Surah 21:33 also means all of them. Therefore, this means not just the earth, but equally the sun and moon are all rotating on its axis, while at the same time following their own respective orbit. This verse is also an example how the Qur'an eloquent usage of the grammar conveys a much more comprehensive meaning than the English language. For example, the word falakin in Surah 21, Ayah 33, usually translated as rotating, in fact also means whirl of a spindle, something very similar as the earth spinning on its axis. And the last word in this ayah, yasbahuna, root word means to swim or to flow, representing something very similar as to how a planet would move through space on its own because of the gravitational force of the sun. Moreover, it is only recently astronomers have discovered the sun not only rotates on its axis, but also orbits around a black hole located in the center of our galaxy. Subhanallah, what an amazing choice of words prescient for its day, something the Prophet Muhammad wasallam could have never known. Furthermore, there are now scientific research papers which also use night and day as an illustration to represent the rotation of Earth on its axis, as one could see in this image. And we have made the night and day two signs, and we erased the sign of the night and made the sign of the day visible that you may seek bounty from your Lord and may know the number of years and the account of events and everything we have set out in detail. Surah 17, Ayah 12. Here, night and day is once again used to count the years. How else would one count the days to determine the year if night and day does not represent the Earth's rotation and its orbit around the sun? This verse also highlights night and day when it comes to the significance of a calendar to account for events in the past and future. Another verse which further shed light on the phenomenon of night and day by usage of the word yukawur, which represents something goes around similar to someone wrapping a turban around. He created the heavens and the earth in truth, wrapping night about the day and wrapping the day about the night, and he has subjected the sun and the moon, each of them running to a stated term. Is not he the Almighty, the All-Forgiving? Surah 39, Ayah 5 As for those who show contempt to anyone who attempts to improve outdated translations of the Qur'an by labeling them as apologists, are not just ignorant of the Qur'anic grammar, but equally lack scientific knowledge. This could be easily demonstrated by just googling what night and day represent. Amazingly, the first thing which shows up is night and day are caused by Earth's rotation on its axis. It's awkward to structure words in English grammar to represent Earth's rotation on its axis and orbit around the sun at the same time, making the Qur'an grammar far superior than the English language even by today's standard. This superb literary style is what makes the Qur'an grammar unique and difficult to imitate and why early poets and linguists came to the conclusion its source could be none other than Allah. Indeed, this is what makes it the greatest miracle given to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam.